What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video we're going to be talking about typecasting in C Sharp. So typecasting is going to be incredibly important. I see typecasting, I see it every single day in my programming career. Do I cast? Do I typecast every single day? Am I actually um, you know, putting fingers to the keyboard and actually doing a typecast every single day? Maybe more like once a week. But the important thing is you're going to see this a lot and you're going to kind of have to interpret it and you're going to have to know what's going on because this is kind of very important for your understanding of how uh, data types are converted and what's actually going on with the compiler and kind of understanding like almost like the language as a whole. So in C Sharp, once you click this button right here, what happens is is the compiler actually goes through parses your entire program figures out what you assigned all of your uh data types to or uh what you assign data types to and it won't let you convert things after the compilation has happened so the comp compiler goes through it assigns everything it figures out what you assigned everything to and if you don't assign things correctly, say like if you take an int and you try and make it a string, which is probably the most simple case that I could possibly think of, it's not going to let you do it and it won't actually. And with IDEs these days, IDEs are so advanced, it's going to catch it before you actually you know, hit this little green button right here and actually run it. But for all intents and purposes and just kind of like understanding, think of it as... C -sharp, C Sharp's compiler is just running through. It's going to say, hey, he assigned an int to this. He assigned a uh, string to this. Oh, wait a, wait a second. Or it, so se let's say if you went through and you assigned a string to a int, the compiler is going to say, hey, uh, you can't do that and you need to change that because if you keep doing that, you know, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> no, I just, I'm just kidding. What's really going to happen is the, the compiler is going to stop you and you're going to have to change it. But in real life, these programs are going to get so large and so complicated that sometimes you're not going to have any other choice but to just kind of jam something into, you know, an, a place. Like it, sometimes if a program, once programs get large enough and once, uh, you, you know, there's enough data and, you know, functions being passed around. Sometimes you're just going to have to kind of bite the bullet and just say, hey, like, I'm just going to jam this string into this and, and I don't, you know, I can't do anything about it because if I have to change this, it's going to take me, you know, literally weeks of work to get it to a place where it would actually work. And like I said, it's not ideal if you're going through your code and you've just got to cast everywhere. It probably means that there's something like you're not following conventions or you're not understanding what's going on. So look at typecasting as a necessity, but if you overdo it, that can also be a bad thing as well. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So right now we've got this, we got a big num. And there are two types of casting. Um, there's only two types. There's an implicit Let's see here. There's an implicit and then there's actually an explicit. So let's just think of like in it an easier example. We inside an int, we go here, we give it a value. So this can't happen because int, you assigned an int to an i, and an i, in this case, you assigned it a string. And it's going to tell you cannot implicitly convert string type to int. Now, like I said, there's two different types. There's implicit and there's explicit. Implicit means the compiler is going to be like, hey, man, I got you. And I'm just going to do this for you because I know what you want. And it's not a big deal. Like the compiler, as amazingly enough, is uh, smart enough to just implicitly, aka just automatically do it for you. But there are certain cases where it's can't be done the compiler doesn't know and you need to be explicit about what you do so let's go ahead here let's do a good example of 
and implicit. So we've got, we're just going to give it like a huge number. Sort of huge, not that big. And then we're going to say, hey, take this number for whatever reason. I don't know why we would do this. This is just kind of an example. And voila, we've got an explicit conversion. So this number right here, we gave it an int, but we went down here and we assigned it a num. And what happened is the compiler says, hey, man, I got you. I know, you know, hey, woman, hey, man. I got you, I know what you want, and voila. It's just going to quickly, implicitly convert it for you. It knows what you want, it knows you know what you're trying to do, it's not a big deal, and it's just gonna say, hey, like, I know, I know, I know. So, <laughs> all right, so let's get into a better example. And this is going to be explicit. And this is what you're going, like I said, you're going to see explicit conversions all the time. And if you don't know what they are, they're going to confuse the ever-living crap out of you because that's exactly, exactly what happened to me. So let's just say cast, in this example, cast double to int. And this is really cool. So watch this. So A, we've already assigned our A, our int. And in this case, watch what happens. The compiler says, hey, you cannot explicitly convert type double to int. An explicit conversion exists. Are you missing a cast? What is a cast? A cast is what you do when you're fishing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A cast is this. <laughs> a cast is you take these little parentheses, you put the int in it, and then you say, hey, compiler, like I know uh, what I'm doing here. I know this isn't ideal and I know that, you know, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but for th these purposes, I am just gonna assign it an int and then we are going to go ahead, let's see here. Wow, IntelliSense is getting so good. Yep, so that is what is, is occurring. This is an explicit conversion. Remember those terms. Implicit means compiler's just gonna do it for you. You don't even have to worry. Compiler's really smart. It's gonna handle a lot of things. An explicit conversion means, once again, it's when you see this right here. When you see, and you you will see this, so j take note, cannot implicitly convert type double to int. An explicit conversion exists. Are you missing a cast? Whenever you see those terms, are you missing a cast? Just think of, fly fishing, whatever type of fishing, I don't really know. And then think parentheses and then go ahead and add your little int in here. And that's going to be what, uh, you know, is going to allow your program to run. Once again, when you, st if you, if your whole entire, you know, program is just littered with cast, you may want to go back and start th thinking about, you know, what you did wrong or maybe get somebody, you know, get a, somebody like a mentor to actually look at your code and you want to kind of you know maybe look at your code a little bit more because when you have too many casts like that that's usually indicative of some bad bad code um, but also on the other side of the scale you've got people who say you should never cast if you have one cast in your software you know you're an idiot and people who hold those types of views too, I think are just as bad as people who are, you know, everything in life is kind of like a balance. And I look at casting as like the same thing. And sometimes you just got to do it and it's not the most ideal thing, but you know, just don't get too carried away. So, okay. So the second part of this video, I'm going to show you a very, very real world way of doing probably one of the most important conversions or casts that you could possibly do. It's more of a conversion, it's not really a cast, but a lot of times you're going to need to take strings and convert them to ints. String to int. And if you already got your information and you don't want to learn anything else, you don't have to worry about this, but if you want to go the extra mile and you want to impress your employers and you want to look like, a, you know, a rock star, you want to look like a badass to your employers, take a look at this because this is something, like I said, it's very real world and you will use this 
I guarantee you, you will see this in your professional career. And knowing this will help you and make you look like a total fucking badass to your employers. So, also too, casting is dangerous because if you don't, we and we haven't talked about if statements, so I'm kind of assuming that you know what an if statement is. So, look at it like this. You cast something. The cast goes wrong at runtime. Oh my God. It creates an error or it creates some type of you know, compilation error, run to, uh, it's a runtime error. It creates a runtime error. Let's say you had a variable that you tried to cast at the very beginning of your program. It doesn't cast correctly. And the effects of that will trickle down and cascade into other parts of your program. So say you try to cast an int and then it spits out some, it, you know, bad or it spits out something that you didn't expect and then it tries to pass it to another variable and then boom, 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 boom. QA is calling you or key, or QA is hitting you up in Slack chat saying that your code is, you know, performing and then your hiring manager is call, calling you and saying that your code sucks. It's not a pretty situation and it can ruin your day. So I'm going to teach you something that will prevent that and teach you how to, you know, prevent that from happening because that happens all the time so this one is going to be how do we actually convert a string to an int a very common scenario for when you are programming and the best way to do it and the standard way to do it and the way that's going to make you look like mm, perfecto perfection i'm sorry i'm american so i don't know those words <laughs> the uh, it's going to be int try parse think try parse like if you ever need to do a cast or if you ever need to do a conversion, think try parse first and then try to do other things because a try parse, you can throw it in an if else and it will catch your errors uh, before you actually, before it passes it to other parts of the program. And it's going to kind of give you like a nice little sandbox so it doesn't screw up everything else. It's a form of encapsulation, which is what you want. So let's just go ahead set our debugger if you don't know how to set a debugger you go like right here you set that and we're going to go ahead and run through it and then we'll see what happens so steps through it's going to assign the value it's going to pat it's going to assign the result so what is this out so if this if this executes what's going to happen is it's going to assign this, if this actually occurs, it's going to assign it to the result. So if they can actually get those numbers out of the string, it's going to assign it to this result. And if it doesn't, it will fail instead of actually throwing like a huge error and breaking your whole entire program. So we go in here, it's going to say, Hey, I'm going to check it. Uh, can we get the, can we get these ints out of here? Oh, sweet. Yes, we can. So we're going to go ahead. It's going to say success. Boom. And Yep, went ahead, parsed out all of our ints, parsed out that whole entire int out of that string. It was a success. So let's go ahead and see here. Can we parse out all of these numbers? Go ahead. Oh, yes, it worked. It's not going to, It's it failed. So what's going to happen is instead of throwing like a huge error in your whole entire program breaking, it's going to go into that second part. It's going to say, hey, like I looked through that string you just gave me and I didn't see any numbers in there. So I'm just going to say this was a failure. And voila, it failed. You're a rock star programmer. You're going to get a bonus this year. Congratulations. You are a fucking 10x programmer. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that was a cool little tidbit for you guys. I hope you guys learned something. Um, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Make sure to join my Discord server too. There's lots of cool... We're having fun in this Discord. Would love to see you in there. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's, you know... Sit, tell me about your project. Tell me where you're from. Anyway, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching.